Today's video is starting out at my local Greenway. My buddy Kevin came in from out of town and he's a big fly fisherman to want to try to catch some Kusa bass on the fly. So I said, you know what, I need to do this too. I haven't caught a Kusa bass on the fly. I think it's been about three years. So we hit the local Greenway, walking up and down the bank and see if we can catch something. And things started out pretty fun. Yeah, yes, that was cool. Oh, watch that one come up and hit it. Threw it down there, gave it a little twitch. Oh, don't get away. Come here. My first Kusa bass on the fly rod. Pretty little guy. Little white popper. Oh yeah, another one. Got the red breast, little guy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, eat it. He's coming, big sunfish. Just go up and eat it. Ow. Oh. Went away. <gasps> nice bass. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Come on. We got one. <laughs> Gotta get a picture of that one. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's a the Kusa bass. They're kind of rare and they're in this creek. Kind of neat. Do what? Uh, it's a it's a Kusa bass, a certain type, and uh, this is one of the few streams in Tennessee that they live in. So it's kind of cool to catch them. Did they say that's small? Yeah, that's a basically a full grown one. Wow. But there's a lot of them in there. That's why they don't get targeted too much because they don't get real big, but it's neat that there's something different. Let's go. Oh, almost got it in a tree. Oh, I got one. <laughs> I think if I get it up there far enough, I'll be able to get one. Out of the red breast. Nice one. This little thing's doing pretty good. Oh, I just saw something hit. Uh, another bug. Something else fell in up there. Let's see if we can get it back up in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I knew there'd be one on that something on that bank over there. Red breast. Oh, we ate that little. What's that thing called? Boogle bug. All right. 
get another cast up here in that just on the in the shade almost oh i got one looking at it come on come on come on and he's coming he's coming he's coming in hot coming in oh a, i think it was another red breast Well, all right, I'm getting in. I've never waded in this spot. It's really deep here. Ugh, if I can get some cast up ahead of me, I might be able to get a couple fish out of here. Oh, I had a fish looking at it. Didn't realize. Oh, now I'm in the tree. Then that doesn't help. Tell that tree. It's kind of a busy, noisy place. We got some gusts of wind coming in. Not ideal, but I'm gonna try this because I've been wanting to do it for a while. We're getting out this. Uh, I'm gonna see here. It's a fly rod that's a nine foot eight weight. I've never used this rod or reel that I can think of. And I've I never have really tried to target bass. So today, the first goal is to try to catch a largemouth bass. We might switch to a different rod. I've caught some recently, or a week or two ago, I caught some brook trout. First time ever catching um, native wild brook trout. Then I fished a greenway um, just yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, and I caught some kusa bass and a red breast. And I've been wanting to fish, fish this place. I come here and and fish for bass um, every once in a while. And I think there's still some bass in there, but they mowed, it's wide open, there's a lot of room. And um, I wanna try this out. I really wanna try to catch a fish. A bass, largemouth bass that is. Yeah, we got some really nice gear here and I'm gonna try to take it, uh, be gentle with it, but use it for what it's used for. And this is more of a bass setup. Let's see here. We have several different things. I think we're going to start with just the old boogle bug. I was using a small one of those yesterday, and um, I like that. So let's put this on. Let's get out there and start casting. Oh, man, this is nice. This is going to be fun. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow around too much. There's a little bass right there. I see a little bass in there. Well, I thought I would have got a bite by now. I know I'm getting a little closer than I usually do for these casts. I'm trying to make longer casts, but I'm still closer than I would if I was using my spinning stuff. But, well, that thing is, I think that hook's been out. Anyhow, let's put something else in there that's gonna maybe sink. Oh, we got some interesting looking stuff. Got a little crawl dead looking thing. Got some Helgramide stuff, bait fish. Let's go with this little crawl, Dad. Oh yeah, it sinks nice. That's gonna, that right there might actually get some of them sunfish too. Oh, fish on. I don't think it's the bass I wanted. But we got something and I felt a hit. <laughs> Yay, red breast. Yeah, this rod's a little stiff for this fish, but this red, it's a nice red breast. He hit hard. Perfect. It's a fat little guy too. All right, well, I've caught red breast. I'm trying to catch something different. I need a large mouth. I don't know if I've ever caught a large mouth on a fly or on a fly rod. Come on, largies, they're in here.
Come on. There's a little fish in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There it is, there it is. Come on, largemouth. Come on, largemouth. Stay on there. I didn't even know he was down there. I thought there were sunfish down there. I dropped it down. Yes! Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on. Get him in here, get him in here. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Uh, I didn't know that. I thought there was a sunfish biting at it. Get a better picture of him there. Got the little, I don't know, is that a clouser? I, I, that's what comes to my name, to my mind. I don't know if that's it or not. Thank you. That's what we needed. This little deep section and I was just dropping my lure. I stood here for a little bit, just dropping my little crawl down there. Cause I saw some sunfish follow and I, and I saw my line moving and I thought it was a sunfish on it. Oh, was that a hit? Wind, calm down, wind. Calm down for just a little bit. Oh, that's a hit. That's a fish. What is that? We got something. Another, oh, that's a blue. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Let's take a better look. Hmm. It looks like a bluegill, but kind of looks like a hybrid. Definitely a bluegill, something bluegill. I feel like it might be mixed with something. That's cool. When those guys hit though, man, those guys are hitting good. Whenever they uh, commit to it, I've seen a bunch of little nibbles, but when they grab it, it's a pretty good little tug. Oh yeah, that was a good hit. Dude, this guy's fighting. Of course, it's a red breast. Not too bad. I probably should have grabbed, well, it didn't matter. I wanted to catch a fish on this new rod and I did, but I think for what's going on today, if I had the, my in-between rod, in-between the three and the, uh, the eight, I think I got a five weight, that'd be the perfect for these probably but um the goal was to catch a fish a largemouth on this rod and i'm no matter what i caught it's my first fish catch on this rod plus i got the largemouth and now what else can we get we got a little section left and um that was two really quick right there oh i got something on my weed get up there you know, a weed on my lure, that's what I meant. Something on my weed. I got a weed on my lure. There's another little green sunfish. Okay. Oh, my camera's messing up on me so i gotta oh click to right my face gotta turn it on when i catch a fish those are a third green sunfish i just tossed it right over this little thing here and he was on see if there's anything else in there that's a little deep stretch i fish i like to go downstream from here but i don't really think i can cast very well and this is gonna be the end we're gonna get a couple more casts in And um, a pretty good first day on this really nice fly rod and reel setup. All right, we gotta try to get a cast in down here. There could be something around the edge of this 
and I might have just enough room to cast. I can get it in right below that tree right there. There might be something sitting right there. Oh, we got it in. Do we have nothing? Oh, 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 I see a fish. Uh, this is when I get aggravated with this fly stuff because I know I can hit exactly the spot I need to hit within an, an inch of where I want to hit with my spinning rod and maybe my casting rod, like a bait caster. But with this fly, you got to factor in all these things. Ooh, and I actually got close. Man. We didn't get anything. Oh, I see some. I see a couple fish over there. Oh, I got a leaf. And then you get a leaf on your lure, right? When you do make a good cast. <sighs> Why? Why do I do this? It's a new challenge. Do I love it? No. Not more than like other ways. But I mean, I do like the challenge. And I do like mixing things up. And some people get so bored of like, conventional fishing that's all they do and then some people just like the extra little challenge of this and whenever ooh, oh whenever you do catch a fish on it it's kind of cool there is a fish there there's a bass right there i see him and sunfish something eat that come on Well, would you look at that? We got a helgramite to throw. Let's see if I can get it in. Oh, yeah. It's got some attention from the little fish. There's a bass coming to look at it, but no, not hitting it. Got it. Oh, what is it? Yeah, that's the one I saw. What is that a smallie? Wow. I've never caught a smallie here. That's cool. That big helgram. I saw a little fish right here and I was, I was about, I was leaving. I turned around and walking back and I was like, let me cast at him. A little smallie on that helgramite. Actually, that's my first smallmouth. I got a first largemouth, my first smallmouth, Coosa bass, and I may have caught green sunfish and redbreast before, but I caught green sunfish, redbreast, and um, bluegill today. Five species of fish on the fly rod today. Pretty cool. Thank you. That was really neat. Very interesting, kind of fun challenge. I would say it's a little frustrating, but Fishing can be frustrating at all the times, even with everything that I'm good at. Whenever I try stuff new, it's a little extra frustrating, but it's an extra challenge uh, to try to catch fish. Cause I've caught fish here before with, you know, regular spinning gear. So I knew I could catch fish and it was fun to get those a uh, few bites. There was definitely big ones in here. There's 15 to 16 inch bass that I saw in here that I don't know if I would have caught them with my spin rod, maybe not, but that's where I was kind of going for. That's why I want to use a little bit heavier gear and this stuff's too nice not to use. So I'm gonna try to use it every once in a while. And will there come a time where, you know, I fly fish all the time? Maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do things that are kind of challenging, but also I find interesting, sometimes relaxing. Some people are relaxed, more relaxed using this. I get more frustrated using this than I would, you know, something I'm more familiar with. So uh, I just like all the different things about fishing, mainly and anything I can do in a creek. So fun little challenge, got some cool fish yesterday and today. And um, I would love to add to the species and try to catch some bigger ones, you know, a little bit here and there, not all the time, but well, yeah, we'll try to keep adding to it. And uh, whoa, I just stuck in some mud. Oh, my foot stuck. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. Um, appreciate James sending me this stuff. He sent me several different things on fly fishing stuff. And um, that, I mean, I probably would barely do any if I had to go buy my own and um having this nice stuff I, I hate that it's just sitting around not getting used it much but i'll try to put it to more use thanks so much for watching